What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another unboxing video. <clears throat> and today I've got a pretty cool unboxing. Uh, I'm going to be unboxing the 500GB Xbox One S a Halo bundle. I picked this up from my local Walmart store uh, for about $300, uh, give or take about $320 after tax. Uh, so actually, the pretty good deal. Uh, the Xbox One has gone down in price significantly compared to what it was with the original version. I believe the original, uh, the one that came with the Kinect, uh, was about five hundred. A pretty good deal considering. But now it does not come with the Kinect anymore. Uh, so basically, Microsoft does not include the Kinect with any Xbox model <coughs> uh, that you purchase nowadays. So essentially, the Kinect is completely optional anyway so let's go ahead and take a look at the box and see what we got here so here's the front of course we got a pretty cool looking view of the console we got a controller and then it has the halo so on the top here uh just has xbox one 500 gigabyte and the uh, console on the right hand side there on this side it just shows the controller another xbox logo and then on this side it shows you some of the technical specifications uh kind of what you have to expect so yeah, let's go ahead and open it up now. Let me grab my knife and see what we got going on in here. Let's go ahead and cut these pieces of tape here. All right. And I believe there is one more piece of tape on the bottom holding this little cover on. Let's go ahead and get that off. All right. So now this top cover should slide off. All right, so there we go get that off so basically this little top cover was just the bundle portion and then now this is the box uh that you normally see without a bundle so anyway so let's go ahead and open this up let's go and flip this around actually all right so first off we get this little card here it says xbox support and it gives you a website to go to so basically this little long pamphlet thing is a quick start guide. So it shows you how to connect all of the wires to your console. Cool. Okay, let's move on and see kind of what else we got going on here. So let's start with the little pouch over here. Got a little box that slides out. Let's see what we got going on in there. Okay, so in here we have the new white Xbox One controller. So let's go ahead and kind of get that out here take a look at what we got so there is the matte uh white uh xbox one controller it looks actually pretty slick in my opinion uh, you got some black uh, gloss on the top and as well as the black gloss on the buttons as well and then you have a nice texture around the grips uh, it actually feels really really nice in the hand it's got some nice grip now compared to the previous version of the xbox one controller so here is the original Xbox One controller uh, that came with the original Xbox. Um, so as you can see on the back, uh, you don't have uh, that textured surface as you do on the new version. So it's got nice grip and a nice feel. So that's nice. And you do get two uh, Duracell AA batteries to put in your controller. Uh, Microsoft still, to this day, for some odd reason, does not include a rechargeable battery with the controller. I have no idea why they do that, because every other um, console manufacturer has a rechargeable controller um, bundled day one with their console. <clears throat> so who knows? I don't know why Microsoft does that, but it's a little frustrating. <laughs> but anyway, um, then next up, we, <clears throat> we have the little HDMI cable, uh, which supports full 4K uh, video output. Uh, since this console does support 4K uh, video, you need an HDMI cable that's going to support that. So it fully supports that. So that's nice. Let's move on now to this here. And another big thing uh, with the Xbox One S is the fact that the power brick is no longer here. Uh, so the power brick is no more. Um, you just have one single cable uh, to power your Xbox One. And it's this cable here. You plug this into the back of the console and this into your wall outlet and you are good to go. So power bricks are no longer needed. Thank goodness um, that was a huge pet peeve of mine with all versions of the Xbox dating back to the Xbox 360 and so on. Nice to have um, no uh, power brick with the Xbox One S. So I give kudos to Microsoft to finally doing that. Let's move on. 
and see what else we have into this box. So if we can see the console right here. Um, I believe the games are in this, yes. So if I pull this out, this is where the games are at. So let's go ahead and pull this out here and slide this up. So as you can see, here is uh, the Halo 5 uh, Guardians. Uh, and then we have a couple of download codes, which I do not want to show on video. So let me move this out of the way. Okay, so this is the Halo uh, Master Chief Collection, which again, on the back side of this, there is a download code that you need to uh, use uh, to download the games from the Xbox Live Store. So that's nice as well that that's included. And then another thing that's included is on the back side of this card, you do get a 14-day trial of Xbox Live Gold. So that's nice that that is included as well. So you can get up and running really quick. And then lastly, you have your regulatory um, and warranty guide. So pretty boring stuff there. Okay, so let's move this out of the way and get on to the console itself, the main star of the show. So let's go ahead and lift this out. There we are. Let's get the box kind of moved off over here. Okay, okay. So there we are. There's the console. I'm going to get the styrofoam packing things out of the way. And as you can see already, the Xbox One S is significantly smaller than the original Xbox console, uh, which is really, really nice. I'll give a comparison to that in just a minute uh, once we kind of get through opening this. get the plastic wrap off here it's wrapped pretty darn well okay flip it around there we go and voila there you go in white i love this white color that they have on the console really slick looking really really nice okay so as you can see the design is basically the same or somewhat similar to the original xbox one you just have no more um matte finish or excuse me glossy finish rather uh, on the top so it's not going to attract a bunch of fingerprint scratches and dust no longer so it's just a matte finish on both sides you got that really really nice and you got a little different design over here for the vent it's more of a little different like a bunch of little holes i guess uh where the fan goes really really slick uh, and then on the front here as you can see we have the disk drive which is 4k Blu-ray ready, so you can watch full 4K video and movies from this console, which is nice. And we do have a little warning sticker, uh, which has been around <laughs> since the Xbox 360, which is so funny. But it says, do not uh, do not move the console without first removing any disc inside. So, so the warning or the risk of scratching a disc um, within the console is still present to this day. Uh, which is just baffling to me. So don't move your Xbox One S uh, with a disc inside. So keep that in mind. That's so funny. Anyway, so then we have the little sync button. So you'd press that. <coughs> excuse me. Um, to sync your controller uh, to the console. Uh, then you have the power button, which is no longer touch sensitive. So it's a physical button now, just like the PS3 Slim uh, kind of is. So you have to press. You can hear that. It's a physical clicky button. And I believe the logo does still light up. I'm not entirely sure on that. Um, then down here, we have... Oh, excuse me. I actually got these two buttons mixed up. This is the eject button. I so apologize for that. Okay, so this is the eject button for the disk drive. This is the sync button um, for the controller. So, I sorry about that. I got those two mixed up. Okay, and then you have an IR blaster for accessories, which is very nice. And then another really good design change of this console is the fact that the USB port has now been moved to the front. And it is no longer on the left-hand side like it was on the original version of this console. So having it in the front is much more convenient. Kudos to Microsoft to finally doing that. Uh, and then this side, you just got some ventilation. And as well, on this side, you have more ventilation. Okay, so now on the back, you have all your ports. So we have the power port. Again, integrated power brick, or power supply, rather. Um, then we have the HDMI out to the TV set, HDMI in uh, to, from your cable or satellite box. You have two more USB 3.0 ports, an IR out, the optical audio, and the Ethernet port. And then you have a Kensington lock right over here. 
So again, like I mentioned earlier in the video, there is no dedicated connect port um, with this console. So again, like I said, you have to go and purchase a separate connect adapter, uh, which would allow you to use the connect with this console. And basically what that would do, you'd plug the connect into that adapter, plug it into a wall outlet, and then plug it into one of these two USB ports to be able to use a Kinect. So it's kind of a hassle and a really annoying process to do just to use the Kinect with this console. But anyway, um, just to go over a couple of the specifications with this, um, it's got a faster processor. Uh, the graphics processor has been beefed up quite a bit, so you're going to get better graphics performance. Um, it has HDR functionality within games. Now, this only supports certain games that support that. But uh, it does support HDR functionality now, which is really nice, so your games will be looking much better. Um, another thing is 4K. That is probably the biggest thing about this console is the fact that it can play 4K movies. Now, um, I'm not entirely sure if it can play 4K games. I don't believe there's any game, video game on the market uh, currently that is full 4K resolution, so... Um, of course, we don't have that yet, but it does support full 4K video output from either the Blu-ray drive or a streamable movie from someplace such as Netflix or downloaded from the Xbox store, so on and so forth. So um, it's full 4K ready. Okay, so but basically that's it. And of course, the slimmer profile, it's much smaller than the original Xbox One, which a lot of people are going to like. And another thing is you can stand it uh, vertical. I believe there's a stand that you can purchase, and you can actually stand it or excuse me, vertical now to save a little bit of space on your uh, TV stand. Okay, so basically that's it of that. So let's go ahead and give a quick uh, comparison to the original Xbox One. Let's go ahead and side that over there. Let's get this stuff out of the way. It's kind of cumbersome. Okay, so let's bring in the original Xbox One. And immediately, so you can see the immediate size difference compared to the the Xbox One S to the original Xbox One. The, the original Xbox One just was a massive beast. I mean, to me, it looked like an old v, uh, VCR from the 90s or something. Uh, the design of this thing was really weird. I don't know where Microsoft was going or what they were thinking when they did that, but it's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the two-tone design is still somewhat present on the S, uh, but the just the vent design has changed, and the glossy finish is no longer present on the slim version. And the fronts of the consoles, as you can see, it's kind of hard to see the black version of the console. It's because it's kind of blending in. But <clears throat> the eject button is right here. Uh, it's also touch sensitive, just like the bu uh, power button. And the disk drive is still in the same place, and it also still supports uh, Blu-ray. So nothing's changed there. And then the change also are for the ports on the back. So let me move that out of the way. So as you can see, right back here, right here, there's a dedicated connect port, which is not available on the Slim. Again, really weird to me, but if you want to have full connect support, I would recommend getting the original uh, fat version of the Xbox One because it has all support for connect. It has the port, all that good stuff. Um, and it's a little bit bigger, but in that sense, it has better support for the Kinect. Whereas the Xbox One S doesn't particularly have the best support for it. Um, but no doubt the Xbox One S <coughs> is a good console. Um, so let's put it on top. You can see, size difference. Pretty drastic. It's kind of thinned off over here. Much smaller. And you can see on top, pretty small as well. And then from this view, you can see the thinness, pretty drastic. It's completely thinner. So that's really, really nice. It's almost as thin as a PlayStation 4 console. Um, I believe it's still slightly thicker than the PS4, uh, but it is very, very close in size to that. So that's nice. Um, but that is basically it. Of the unboxing of the Xbox One. Uh, this video has kind of turned out to be a little bit long, but I wanted to go in detail and kind of in depth with all the different features and all the different things this thing can do and compare it to the original Xbox One. So, yeah, that's basically it for this unboxing video. Um, 
Hope you guys have enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button down below. It helps out the channel quite a lot. Um, thumbs up the video as well. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying my content and everything like that. And if you guys have <coughs> any questions or any comments or need help or whatever it may be, drop a comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as I possibly can. Um, before I go, however, I should note that the Xbox One S is still... Um, non-upgradable in terms of the hard drive so if you get the 500 gigabyte console such as we have here um, you will not be able to upgrade the hard drive like you can on the ps4 so it's still embedded into the console itself <coughs> now um, i believe in a software update microsoft did release a way to plug in external storage so you have to do it that way <coughs> but anyway yeah that's basically it for this unboxing video um, once again, hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.